Hey everyone, uh, this is my third video, I guess, on these Feral Humphrey American Tarot decks. Uh, for the first one, I did a complete flip through between these two decks, the antique version and the contemporary version, I guess. <clears throat> Um, then in my second video, I compared the antique Feral Humphrey to an actual antique DeLorence, that guy. <clears throat> um, and it occurred to me that it should probably do a flip through between, um, the, the two that should look the most like each other. So that's what we're going to do today. Here we've got our actual DeLorence and here we've got our Feral Humphrey. Who will come out the victor? I can give you a spoiler alert already. It's gonna be the antique. All right. Um, yeah, like I've uh, said in my previous two videos, this one isn't terrible. Like it's, you know, a fine scan actually. Like, could it have been a better resolution? Yes. Um, but it was fine for what it was. It's only slightly blurry. Um, what irritates me the most though, is that the aspect ratio is squished in. So everything that's round becomes more elliptical, more football shaped. And um, it is it is a little blurry. Like the line art does look a little bit blown out, especially when you look at it next to um, an original. I think in one of my videos, I said this was like a three-year-old tattoo and this was like a fresh tattoo. Not as blurry as a five-year-old tattoo though, so I guess we've got something going there. Um, I'm also not a huge fan of how bright these yellows are when we compare it to an actual um, yellow DeLorence. I think that that was a miss there. No one likes to stare at bright yellow. That's, um, biologically, that's a signal um, for mammals at least of danger, especially when it's yellow and black. Yellow and black is not a color combination that humans like to look at for very long. Um, so, making it this bright yellow just intensifies that even more. So, that's a thing to know. So let's just flip through the majors, getting a sense of how these, these two compare to each other. Yeah, as you can see, they're a lot closer to each other than to, um, either to the antique uh, Feral Humphrey. This is a good example of one of the things I'm not too keen on the coloring. In the actual DeLorens, do you see how there's this like sweet butter yellow skin tone to the two figures here and then we've got um, some dot spacing in the sky to kind of create that gray effect. All of that just gets lost. Like, I don't see hardly any difference between the skin tone of the figures and the sky. So we're losing a lot of contrast <clears throat> all the way through this deck, which is unfortunate. It's actually, the DeLorence is actually quite a lovely deck for what it is. Here we can see that there's all this like messiness in the background. Maybe you can't see that. Like everything is nice and even here because it's all even dot spaced printing. And here it just gets like this weird grainy effect. You can see that, you know, weird scanny grainy effect here too on the hanged man. And again, here is a really good color difference one. I guess these scans really didn't like the butter yellow color, that really, really light yellow. Um, everything's been washed out so much on this devil, it just looks uh, white. The only yellow I can really see is here in the tails and in that fire, it's just boring.
This is a weird one too. <clears throat> See how this one has that weird mustard yellow tone um, in these leaves? That doesn't happen here. Like it's the same yellow um, in the Dolores cards. You're not having two different shades of yellow. You get the illusion of shade because you're layering yellow and black on top of each other in various dot formations. But here it's been changed to a whole new shade of yellow for these leaves and I think in the sunflowers too a little bit. Doesn't look great. And then there is our world. You know, this world is another one of those cards that kind of suffers a little bit from fading out the butter yellow, right? Like, see how these figures in the corner on the original are actually a really pretty light yellow and it's just white on the other one? Not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. Um, I guess if you did want a Dolores lookalike and you didn't want to try to source... Um, an original, which is hard and expensive. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this King Crafter Feral Humphrey deck is not the worst. Um, it'll scratch that itch and do it economically. I think it was only like $30 or so. But I think that there could have been a better Dolores replica. I really do. Thank you so much for watching me go through this flip through, I guess. Enjoy your day.